Hey guys, vlogging at VidCon, probably gonna be the last vlog I'm gonna do for a while. Why am I zoomed in on my face? There we go. I actually just recorded this, but then the thing is, like some people were having this very loud conversation behind me, and I was like, oh, I don't want to interrupt their conversation. So I, 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 so I just shut it off and decided to redo it now. Then I listened to them talk, I was like, they didn't even talk English. It was like, it's not, so it didn't really matter or anything like that. Anyway, walking across the street, heading back now, dropping off my camera, dropping my camera off after long day because apparently there's a game of ninja going on and I'm not bringing this camera for ninja I just bought this camera not happening so uh, but VidCon was pretty awesome it's the first VidCon I've ever been to um, second convention playlist being the only other one which was back in March in Florida that was fun but the only other thing I can think of coming up is PAX maybe but as it stands I may not be able to get into that because it's pretty much sold out and my only shot is getting a press pass and Yaush doesn't believe they can hook me up with one but apparently some one guy from Yaush says he can so I'm just gonna apply for a press pass see what happens if I don't I don't if I do yay um I met a lot of the guys from full screen which is the parent company of Yaush uh, I talked to them they were awesome they gave me the shirt I full screen video huh Oh, and then they also activated live streaming on my channel. So if I, for whatever reason, want to do live, I might not need to do it on Twitch anymore. Which could be fantastic if it's properly integrated and well done. Also met a lot, a lot, a lot of interesting people at VidCon. In order, I'm trying to think, um, aside from the people I already met at Playlist, there was a panel. I met Adam Sessler, I met Kevin Pereira, and which was great because I was talking to them and their views on G4 perfectly mirrored mine and they were we were both discussing the network and I don't think I should really talk about what they said because they said they weren't allowed to say what they said so I'm not gonna repeat those comments um who else did I meet? I met my door is still open ah um oh yeah by the way you're also getting a view of the room I'm staying in there's your view um who else did I meet? I met like I said, aside from the people that play us, um, Toby didn't remember me at all, which because it made sense. Because I, I was like, "Hey, Toby, how have you been?" He's like, "Oh, hey, I'm in a rush, but do you want a picture?" I was like, um, "No, I already got one." Is <laughs> whatever, but whatever. I honestly didn't really expect Toby to remember me because I didn't really talk to him that much. Jack um, instantly remembered me the second he saw me, which was great because I love being recognized by people. Uh, let's walk over here so you can see the bathroom. Huh? That. What are you doing? Bathroom. Um. But yeah. Um. Apparently, Adam and Kevin really liked what I had to say. Um. Uh, so I might talk to them in the future. I don't know. They told me that it was like tweeted me. I want to talk to you more about X subject. And I was like, okay. <laughs> It'll get buried in all the other tweets you get, but okay. Um. Well, Sammy, I met Lindsay Sterling. She was really nice. She just signed with Full Screen, which is where I met her at the Full Screen party. Because Full Screen, they paid for my freaking dinner last night. They're like, we are so good to our partners. We're gonna pay for all of their dinners. Who would decide to show up? Gave me a shirt. They paid for my dinner. They actually live stream on my channel. I love this network. Um, let's see who else. I met Freddie Wong today. Except, ah, uh, and I, I told him, I was like, I was one of your first 100,000 subs. And he's like, man, you're old school. You want a picture? Here's a picture and a poster. I was like, post? Uh, I'll take the poster, sure. He gave me a, 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 um, a video game high school poster, the VGHS series he has going. He gave me a poster of it and signed it. I'm like, thank you, sir. May I have another? No. Um, let's see, what else happened? Ninja games going on. Who else did I meet? Lindsay Sterling. Smosh! I met Smosh. I got my picture with them, I talked to them a little bit, um, not too extensively, because they, because basically they got roped into the full screen party, and, yeah, but I don't know, whenever I go to these things, I always feel like a second wind, like, I feel so motivated to make great content now, so, hopefully the whole partnership thing gets sorted out on this channel, because so they're, they're saying, it's like, oh, we can't partner this channel because something's weird, we're gonna have to, um, what is it? They want me to make another channel. I'm, I'm like, no, I, I, I just made this one. It's, but I, I think I already talked to you guys about that bit. But I'm talking to you guys about VidCon. Um, VidCon was awesome. It's still going on tonight. I'm leaving. I came back here because of Ninja 
and because I'm leaving my camera here because I really don't want to have this camera while I'm playing Ninja. And I'm not going to turn down a game of Ninja. Um, yesterday I thought I saw Dodger um, press hard to continue. And then I was like, she looks shorter than the, what I would expect. So I, I just walked right by. I didn't say anything. I didn't say anything. And then I, and I just assumed it wasn't Dodger. And then... My friend Evan is like, oh, do you know where Dodger is? She's part of a, forgetting our picture, part of a scavenger hunt. I was like, oh my god, that was Dodger. And now, I just, uh, now I'm really pissed off because I, out of all the female YouTubers out there, I really um, respect her more than most. I, I'm not really subscribed to many female channels. Not being sexist, I'm just telling you how it is. Most females, I feel like they're too caught up on their boobs and putting arrows in the thumbnails and I'll that stuff and there aren't really many female gaming channels as is but um her channel I, I feel like her channel is really real and it, 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 there's no gimmicks it's just her channel like I, I so I have respect for her for actually making a successful channel that doesn't have a gimmick about her boobs or what have you her and Lindsay Sterling are probably the two most the females I respect the most on YouTube is what I want to say yeah I just went to the general session. The guys who made Epic Rap Battle of History, I forget their username. They did something that wasn't Epic Rap Battles of History. I thought it was hilarious. Apparently, everyone else thought it was offensive. Probably because the primary um, the con demographic is 15 year old girls. And then it was. <laughs> they did this whole skit about um, how 15 year old girls are. Um, uh, how a 15 year old boy was getting with 15 year old girls and he made like a chart about how wet he got them and stuff I thought it was hilarious and then they got booed off the stage which is, it was just sad it probably would have went a lot better if they did epic rap battles live but oh god that's the breaks I guess um that's basically it for me from VidCon 2012 I have a Facebook album oh where I took pictures uh I still have my iPod with me, so if something else happens, I'll just take a picture on that and be like, yeah, I'm unprofessional. Almost forgot a couple things. I'm, I'm here. Oh, my God. There we go. I met C Nanners here. Um, and another guy from Yaush, um, who's their, like, head of PR department. Um, C Nanners was relatively nice. Um, but the thing is, the head of PR department, he saw me. And I was I was wearing my Yao shirt. That's how he rec um, knew I was from Yao. So then he's like, "Oh, this is gonna be the best picture ever." So he decided me, him, and C Nanners in a video with a Machinima logo in the corner <laughs> would be a great idea. Um, he's like, "This is gonna be the most ironic photo ever." But, and then C Nanners and the other Machinima people will see me with my Yao shirt. They're they're look they're giving me the stink eye. They're like, "Fuck no, we're not." But I did get the picture, and I guess it was kind of amusing. <laughs> I also want to do a couple panels. Um, the one was the state of the video game industry. It was supposed to be um, Max Scoville from Destructoid, Adam Sessler, Jeff Knightley, and someone else I can't remember. But what ended up happening was Jeff Knightley couldn't come. So they're like, who's not doing anything these days? Oh, Kevin Pereira! throw him in and they were really awesome the other two things I went to was um how to sell out without selling out ironically being on the panel was epic mealtime where he was repeatedly plugged netflix.com slash bacon he, he went crazy on that and it, I mean they, ma they made a few good points but the thing is I, I for me I can't justify um brand names yet if I can like just weave it in like real nice to the point where you can barely even tell that it's a product placement maybe or if it's something that I think I would legitimately care about and therefore you would legitimately care about maybe maybe and then there was another panel which is essentially the same thing also done by um my big meal time and Lindsay Sterling although she didn't really say much funny thing about that panel though was um the guy was like alright we're gonna do something awesome if you have a question Instead of going around the room to save time, just tweet it at hashtag brand. Oh, I was brand names, brand some, brand some. I'll I'll put it below so you can look up the tweets. I think most the guy um, who did the funny ones deleted them, but you'll find some good ones in there. And he's like basically tweet the questions to us. Um, first off, this guy didn't know how to use Twitter, um, so that was a bit of an issue. 
Second off, um, when the guy who went to finally was able to check the tweets, the first thing that came up was this one kid who left a tweet that said, This is a small room. It's too quiet. I just farted. Sorry, girl in the fedora hat next to me. <laughs> it was the funniest shit. And then, some, and then someone else tweeted something, and it got like tw 10 retweets. And they were all hashtags, so we saw them all. And it was like... <laughs> and it was great, because it was um, about branding. It said, um, make money, fuck bitches, eat bait. Uh, but it was a fun panel overall. It, it was, it, I learned a lot. I met a lot of interesting people. Um, but yeah, that's basically it for me, guys. I've been Matt Goldsman from Gamerscast. Check out gaming videos over youtube.com slash Gamerscast. Check out more real life videos at youtube.com slash Matt Follows Chalk, hopefully. Leave a comment in the comments if you have any comments to make about any comments I made during this video. Keep watching, everyone. I've been Matt, and I'll catch you next time.